This is a Doppler audio signal. Its frequency spectrum. Doppler spectrum derived Euro flow curve in high resolution, and a more traditional smooth view. In conventional Eurodynamics measurement, a patient must go to a device like this and exactly target the measuring cup. Almost of diagnosis can be made with how and how and so on. In 1988, we did it by standalone 24 GHz millimeter wave Doppler. Using a wearable sensor, now, we do the same with 40 kHz airborne ultrasound Doppler. Do it yourself. As said before we derive Euro flow curve from Doppler spectrum. Typically by its rich trace. Opposed to traditional methods, we skip quantity time measurement and go directly to flow pattern observation by Doppler. Imagine you can compare with other peers, or check how healthy you are this morning. Measurement of pissing must be in a usual environment. Any unusual situation changes it to unusual. Hospital-mounted device will never be ideal in this sense. Do it for yourself in your living environment, is the best way. Our Doppler device is finger-mountable like this. These are our latest prototypes. And these are our single transducer model and dual transducer model. During preclinical laboratory tests, over 87% successfully acquired this style of diagnostic quality urination pattern data. Yet, all failures were caused by wrong positioning or direction of transducer. The product hasn't yet been produced since we are a national university. The ABUS Eurodynamics Research Group in Asahigawa Medical University, Japan, is organized by two key persons, Professor Takeuchi and Professor Matsumoto. The team intensively research and develop mainly, but not limited to, measurement and monitoring technology in urology and related field. Thank you for listening, and consider voting for us.